We saw some cows. We did see some cows. We saw some male cows with their horns. Is that how you know they're male? Well, they had no udders. There's no breasts. I wasn't looking. But it was really weird. We were just like sitting down on a on a log much like this one. Not this one, but much like this one. And then um, we heard like uh, footsteps, didn't we? Mm. And then I assumed that it was just someone walking their dog. That's kind of what it sounded like. Yeah, it just sounded like people walking behind us. And then we look over and, you know, this... A huge mm. fat off cow. It would be like a Disney moment if it was like a deer skipping through the things. But it was but, a big cow. But we're in England, so it was a cow. <laughs> but but the thing about it was, it wasn't like what you're imagining, like a cow. Yeah. Like it's like a like you said a male cow. So it was like it was more like a it was quite an imposing presence, wasn't it? Well, it, the it's horn, not like old McDonald had, had a farm. It had full horns. Like it not been. I don't know what the the term for like horn cheering is. But they were like pointing funny, in, weren't was, they? Yeah. They were like satanic horns, like like a goat kind of thing. Yeah. And that was cool. But and it wasn't scared of us. It was coming closer and closer and closer. Well, it was coming closer and closer, and then we had to leave because like this is no. Too because close. another cow came in. Another cow did come in. We got two cows for the price of one. They're very sweet. I mean, they're sweet animals, cows. Um, it's nice to, you know, when they're just grazing and out and about there. They're very cute. Yeah, I didn't, like, I sim like, at the same time, I felt like I could be at risk, but I didn't in that moment feel, like, I felt like they knew, they knew we were there, definitely. They were, in fact, they were purposely coming closer to us, but it felt like it was more out of curiosity. I don't think it was us. I think it was they didn't feel threatened. It's so like, because normally, like... No, when, they definitely was coming to see us. No, I don't think so. Because when, like, we're... When I'm in, like, Matlock and I do walks, the, the cows pause and they look quite, like, imposing. But this was, like... It did stop and stare at us and then it just continued grazing and just we were just by the grass. I don't think it had any interest in us, if I'm honest. I disagree because there's a lot of grass in this forest. You're a very interesting person. And I'm a very interesting person. I... I, I cows flock to me. No, but it felt like I I felt a connection with the cows. That's what I'm saying. I felt like they like they liked me. Well, who wouldn't? And they liked you. I felt like. Nah. But when t- but when two came, even though I didn't feel technically at risk, I did feel like okay now. I feel like me and you could take one cow. No, those things are bulletproof. Yeah, but if we absolutely had to, we could put up a fight against one cow. Like, one of us could distract it, and then the other one could get away. Yeah, so basically I'll get beaten up by the cow. Yeah. Because that's, you know... But two cows? <laughs> Forget two, about it. Yeah. Two cow, Like, one cow if is it was like, like a... a lady cow... Because they were both male cows. If it was a lady cow with it, it would have, like, wanted to show off and stuff, and then we would probably be at risk, but because it was just with its bros, it's not going to, like... It's calm. I'm hoping to see... No, I'm hoping to see, uh, like, some kind of rodent. I think that would be pretty sick. I think that would be difficult. <laughs> I, but it's not difficult. It's like, I, I think it would be unlikely. Well, what I mean is there's not, like, enough density of, like, wildlife or things for, like, rodents to kind of rodent about you know what i mean what are you talking about this place is fucking huge yeah it's huge but like you've not seen apart from like trees and grass things not loads of like uh anything to like forage there's no food about there's no berries there's no i've seen some berries um i mean saw a big mushroom rodents love mushrooms but um saw a bog but there's also clearly a farm nearby so they would be there if anywhere to eat the grains yeah the scraps the dung they don't eat dung I, I don't know I don't know what a rodent actually eats oats what do we do though we don't do anything what do they want well they're edging a bit closer what do they want I don't know either way I think it, it's not impossible that you might see a, a woodland mouse what? I've seen a woodland mouse in a park. I think I'd see one here. No, but they'd be more common in a park because there is things, there's bins for for a start. There's bins here, probably. I've not seen a single bin. I said probably. Are we 
I didn't see a sign or anything that said like don't encounter the cows. No. And they're encountering us, if anything. Look, in conclusion, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I just wanted to let you know this is the first time I've ever been to Epping Forest. And it's how it took like 45 minutes on the bus? A bit an hour, but yeah. Not on the bus. No, on the bus it was quick. On the bus it was like maybe half hour. From Tottenham, which is where we came from, it took like 45 It was a 20 minute walk to the bus stop. The bus was about half an hour. Yeah, and what I'm saying is. And so what I'm saying is, Epping Forest is sick. It's so good. I genuinely love it here. And I'll come back. Five stars, TripAdvisor. I will do It's. When I post this video, I'm going to post it as Epping Forest Review. This is uh, brackets. Forest. Brackets. You won't believe this. <laughs> you won't believe what we found in Epping oh, Forest. <laughs> and it'll be a shock emoji and like a skull and crossbones. And yeah. The we, reality is we've just found like some litter that looks significant. We'll have to do that. We'll have to actually find some significant litter to... You won't believe what we uncovered in a bog in Epping Forest. No. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, new video coming out soon. A documentary, actually. Isn't it? We've been working on a documentary, me and you. I've been, I've been assisting. No. Yeah, you've been assisting. But we, me I'm and... the best boy. Christian's my best boy and we've been working on a documentary together and it's seriously over the past week we filmed a documentary isn't that crazy it's crazy and it's about the power of manifestation I, I tried manifesting for a week and brackets you won't believe what happened but like that's coming out this week next week you know you're I don't know I don't want to spoil the video but no we're not spoiling the video talk about your manifest journey well, you're going to have to tune in next week when it comes out. I haven't finished editing it yet, but it's all filmed. Yeah. Join the Patreon, because if you join the Patreon, then you get the full documentary, which is probably going to be about 30 minutes long, right? And then on on YouTube, it's just going to be like, I don't know, like one second long. Yeah, it's TikTok length. <laughs> Should we go?